Alright, so today we are going to be replacing a SAM cab on a Freightliner Cascadia. First thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and disconnect the negative sides of all of your batteries. And then over here on the exhaust side of the engine, you're going to have four connectors that you're going to have to disconnect from the SAM cab on the exterior portion. It can be pretty difficult. They are very known to be seized. These little red tabs in the ends you can push out as you wiggle it out. Then you have a positive and ground cable that can that connect to the SAM cab. You're going to go ahead and get those disconnected just like that. They can be a pain to get off, but you just work at it and they'll eventually come off. So then we can go ahead and move inside the cab on the passenger side. And we're going to have to remove the glove box. And the glove box is held in by four screws, T25 Torx, right there, there, and there. Then you can go ahead and just pull that glove box right out. And the next obstacle is you have a rain shield with this little Velcro metal piece. You're going to go ahead and get that metal piece out first. Go ahead and set that aside. And then you can go ahead, there's two clips holding on the front, and then pull that rain shield straight out the front. It's a bit of a pain, but it will fit. Just like that. Go ahead and set that aside. And there's your SAM cab. It's held on by two bolts and one nut. I would strongly recommend going ahead and taking pictures of all connectors as they are so you don't get anything backwards. All right, so let's go ahead and remove this lower cover with these T25 torque screws here and two hidden ones on the bottom. Go ahead and pull that and set it aside. And that'll give us access to these three bottom connectors. So <clears throat> now we got it all disconnected and got it removed. It can be a bit difficult to get out. Sometimes it sees, but it's held on by a screw here, a screw here, which is there and there on the bracket. And also a 13 millimeter nut which corresponds to this stud right here. Once you get that out, you can push back, wiggle it, it can be seized, push it from the front if you need to from outside, and it will come out with some determination through the hole for the glove box. All right, and we have the new one and old one here. What we're gonna do, just like a SAM chassis, we are going to take all the fuse and relay locations and we are going to make it match on the new one the same as the old one. You don't want fuses in different places on the new one as there is on the old one because then you'll have different functions that don't work then you have to figure that out and why. So we go ahead and get those and went ahead and installed the SAM cab, those two, and there's that 13 millimeter nut. The way you install it, it has two clips in the back on the bottom. You'll see two square holes for it. You slide those clips in, then it will seat down and you can install all of your screws and your nut. And we'll go ahead, we disconnected the bottom connectors, don't forget those, and all the top. And then we run back outside. And we still have our four connectors out here and our power and ground cable. So go ahead and get those. And we got all those connected without too much trouble. Got it all tightened up. And the last thing we'll need to do is run around back to the other side of the truck, back to your batteries. And you're going to reconnect all of the negative terminals on your batteries and then you're good to go. And it will need to be programmed after this is complete. 